So mid and I'm done. I've just finished four years of university. So I finished uni just about two weeks ago and I thought it might be nice to share my experience at UNSW over these last four years. I did do computer science, but this is not a my computer science degree video, um, so I won't be covering any classes, but if you would like to see that, let me know and I'll try and make one. Okay, so let's go back to 2018 when I was still a first year. Um, first year for most people is probably the most exciting and most overwhelming year just because you know you're fresh out of high school and you're thrown into this new environment where you're meeting a bunch of new people, you're going to these new classes and all around it's just experience overload. Now one of the first things that surprised me about uni was actually just getting there. If you're like most people, you need to take a train to Central and then a bus to UNSW. Now I remember on the first day of university I had a uh, 9am lecture, um, so I got to Central you know and I ate 20, you know, gave myself 40 minutes, which is which seemed to be plenty of time to get to uni until I saw this. I saw that the bus line literally went from the stand all the way through Hyde Park. I just couldn't believe how damn long it was. And I was literally like, I'm never going to get to uni early ever again. These days, the bus doesn't exist anymore. Instead, we have the wonderful new and improved light rail that is not cancelled when it rains. <laughs> but thankfully, that was just the first week because I soon realised that most people didn't actually go to their lectures after the first week. Not me, of course, because my friends and I would, as nerdy as it sounds, would always sit at the front of the lecture hall. You know, you're paying for university, you know. It's not cheap, um, so why not? you know, sit as close to the lecturer or, or professor as possible and, and extract as much value as possible. I don't know. I, I just liked asking questions because, um, you know, I didn't get stuff. And so sitting at the front was, was great for that. One of the best parts about first year are first year camps. So the first two camps I went to were co-op camp and CSE SOP camp. Um, now I was part of the co-op scholarship program. And it's basically a program that tries to sort of develop you as, as leaders and professionals who can, you can thrive in the industry. So co-op camp is great because um, you actually get to meet people from other degrees as well. So yeah, that was fun. But more importantly, CEC camp was where I met uh, most of my long-term uni friends. A lot of questionable things happen at CEC sort camp, which by the way is still more tame than most other society camps, but it, it, it is what it is. I made a bunch of really good friends um, in that CSC SOL camp and we're still good friends today. In fact, just recently, early this year, we went on a diving trip up at the Great Barrier Reef. So yeah, if you're a first year, I highly recommend going to these um, first year camps and, and meeting people um, and just overall having fun. The other great way to meet people is through societies and as a super, super keen first year, I decided to join three societies. I joined um, socials in CSE SOC, careers in Eng SOC, and IT in Enactus. Met lots of great people, um, and thankfully, I haven't yet made a CP post. In hindsight though, taking up three societies at once um, was probably too much, and I reckon, especially in first year when you're going to so many other social events and, and all, um, you know, just maybe join one or two. Speaking of social events, um, again, as a, keen, as a first year, um, you know, you're not yet uh, jaded by all by university and, and all of life's problems so you can actually go out and have fun but to be honest I I kind of flaked on a lot um, anyways so fast forward to end of semester one I had just completed an economics course uh, my first computing course and two math courses and at this point I had no idea what I wanted to do in life whether it was you know something startup related or something that was uh, being a programmer or whatever um, and I thought the best way to, to fight and solve this problem was to go on a backpacking trip in Europe um, and I went on this with a, with a friend Jim and we decided to go and find ourselves in Europe I know it sounds super cheesy um, but we, we did so anyways it was good fun and I'm not sure if I found myself but I do think I got greater insight into what I wanted to do over the next few years. So semester two in uni, I took, um, I think two or three programming courses and I distinctly remember that 
I really, really disliked one of them, um, 1521. In fact, I disliked it so much that I decided not to submit an assignment and instead make a uh, rant video that I uploaded to YouTube. Um, this was actually my, my first video to YouTube and was the first step in me, I guess, making random videos and uploading uh, them like this one. Again, this one is super unorganized. I really should have planned a uh, better script for this. Anyways. So around this time it was August slash September, which meant it was internship season. I actually did a solutions engineering internship at Salesforce um, in my first year, which was super lucky because getting a, an internship as a first year is difficult. But again, in saying that, I was rejected from so many different places, it was not even funny. I remember in my first year actually, I did so poorly in one of my technical interviews that I just straight up ended the call like mid, mid question because I was just like, so ashamed of how I was doing. Um, yeah, so that was first year. One regret I had at the end of first year was probably not applying for a director role. I really enjoyed my time at CSC SOC. And in hindsight, I think I should have gone for social director. But in that moment, I was like, oh, it's gonna take too much time. And so I backed out. Looking back on it, I think it would have been um, fun leading a team and organizing uh, more events for CSC SOC. So yeah. Takeaways as a first year, you have a lot of time, try and do a lot of things. Um, go out there, meet your people, try new experiences, and yeah, just, just have fun. Don't take university and career too seriously. Okay, we're on to the second year of university. Now, second year was probably my uh, biggest slash most exciting year, just because I, I guess, had even more experiences um, than first year. One of the first things that happened in the year was I actually got to go to Stanford um, for a week to participate in this sort of um, summit and that was great because again, you meet really cool people from around the world, um, get to experience some of that American uni culture and yeah, it was all around just super fun. And after that, in fact, I think it was like a week after um, I actually went to Hong Kong. I was flown to Hong Kong for a uh, interview with Jane Street. You know, they covered everything, it was really great. The interview itself went horrible. I performed like absolute dog shit. Um, anyways, I made a video on both Stanford Summit and Hong Kong previously, so if you wanna check that out, go ahead and do that. So mid second year, I actually decided to drop the Culp Scholarship, which isn't that surprising, because I think most people, or, or at least when in high school, you know, you see the Culp Scholarship as something that's like really good, that gives you a lot of opportunity, which, which is true early on, but then you soon realize that, you know, they underpay you, and most people who, um, you know, get into Culp Scholarship can probably you know, secure placements and, and, and internships themselves. Some other stuff happening in my life that I wanted to work on and focus on, so I decided that dropping co-op scholarship would be the best bet. Another thing that was super great that happened in September in second year was I started my first academic tutoring role um, as a lab assistant. Now, I think most students in CSE you know, do want to be tutors just because it's such a fun experience, like having a, a class where you're able to teach, share your knowledge, but also banter and have fun with is super good. Especially like the, the first year courses, which tend to be more um, relaxed and, and laid back. So up until then, you know, I've been trying for one and a half years, constantly applying, constantly emailing. And so I was super, super um, thankful that I finally got to start lab assisting in September. Another really great thing happened in second year was I finally decided to join RunSock. Um, I had been running in high school, but then had stopped for a while after and I was like, you know what? I haven't joined a society that I personally actually want to do just for fun And so when I joined RunSock, that was the society so far in my four years of uni That's probably been my one of my best decisions um, Joining RunSock, you know, I still go to RunSock events I, I'm so close with the people in RunSock and all around. It's just a great society big piece of advice there is don't join societies just for just for career opportunities. You know, join stuff that you genuinely enjoy because um, again, you just have a lot of fun. I did the Alaskan internship in second year um, again, which was super fun because the cohort was like 100 people, and I, I met a, a bunch of great people there who again I'm still um, friends with today. And now in the third year, third year and fourth year passed by super quickly, partly because you know you've gone through a good amount of uni, but also because Dun, dun, dun. It's 2020 and lockdown or COVID happens. At least in the first quarter of the year, you know, we're still going in-person classes. One of the things I did was I was a camp leader for CSE SOC. So it's 2020, COVID news 
starts, you know, getting heated in what, February, March, and we go into lockdown. The face-to-face -face classes are obviously abolished and we move online. Since it was so abrupt um, and the uni obviously couldn't cater for online classes immediately, all our classes became pass-fail, which was great because, you know, I didn't need to do any work for them anymore, and which was bad because I didn't need to do any work for them anymore. Online classes, you know, are probably hard for everyone. You know, without that interaction, you know, and engagement, I feel like students just don't learn um, as well. And especially me, who, who, someone who needs to interact with people, you know, online classes were really difficult. Cool, so yeah, COVID period happened. We were in lockdown for, was it two months? I don't know, but that passed by super quickly. And for a brief period of time, towards the end of the year, we got to return to some in-person classes. I was super lucky because I actually got to teach an in-person class. And in fact, this was my first in-person class since I became a lab assistant. Here's a picture of my two classes, Form 531. Both of them were super fun. And at the end of the year, I did my internship at Canva, which I was super stoked about because I had really wanted to join Canva even the year before, but I hadn't gotten in. So this year, I was super happy that I finally got to intern. Again, I made a fun day in the life of video um, during my internship at Canva, so do check that out. That one's pretty good, if I say so myself. And then finally, 2021, fourth year, my final year. Well, my com computer science is only meant to be three years, but because I unloaded and, and sort of wanted to extend my degree, I had another term to go. So first term of fourth year uni. This was probably actually my most fun uh, term in terms of uni content. In my previous first three years, I'd always just picked courses that were one, either mandatory or two, were sort of related to my computer science degree. But in my fourth and final year, I was like, you know what? I have so many electives, why don't I just pick and choose ones that I, one, am genuinely interested in, and two, might not otherwise learn. So yeah, I decided to pick up Japanese, which, you know, you know, I love anime. Um, and two, wait, what else did I take? Um, I also took an economics course, which was super fun, and I took a third unnamed course, which I'll explain why in a little more detail. But yeah, after having so much fun in that uh, first term, I would highly, highly recommend you guys to, especially if you have free electives, to take take them outside of your of your course, out of your, outside of your degree, because that's what sort of uni is for, right? Exploring different opportunities and seeing what you like or don't like. It's kind of boring if you just only learn courses that are related to your degree. So yeah, after the time one, I was meant to have graduated, and I planned my grad trip and everything, but lo and behold, I actually failed that unnamed course, um, which was really, really unfortunate because that meant that I had to be in uni for longer. Yeah, and that sucked because again, I had a grad trip planned, you know, which I still went on by the way, which is that New Zealand camper van trip. It just meant that I had to push everything back. So I took term two off instead and decided to take one final course um, last term, which was a sound course. By the way, that sound course, Start 1240, was super fun. I learned to, you know, remix and sample sound. Here's a quick, taster of a few things I got to in my in my uh, course. You know, obviously it's not very good because I'm still novice, but hey. Yeah, that was my university experience over the last four years. I'm not sure how long that took, but hopefully that was helpful. I guess a, a quick, not a quick, but a, a recap of my university experience.